Hi there, Addy here from buildingsforsaletoronto.com here with a brand new listing we have coming into the market. This one is on MLS. Uh, where It's 21 units and it's located in St. Catharines. Uh, coming to the market for 4.75 million, which works out to about two and a quarter per door. Um, we're gonna run through the numbers really, really quickly. Uh, if you wanna gain access to the data room or have more information available about the property, or if you wanna discuss and see how we underwrite different assets, uh, feel free to reach out and we can schedule something for you. So this is 4.75 million, that's what the asking price is, 226,000 a door for it, uh, at a mortgage of 55% uh, or 45% down payment, a mortgage of 2.612 million, at a 5.3% rate, your monthly mortgage rate comes out to $14,507, that's with a 30 year amortization. Uh, when we're running our numbers, we're running them based on a 10-year hold period. So we have management fee over here of 8837 Understand that the seller self-manages this property. Uh, we have these numbers included as a placeholder for when you are actually going and getting uh, a lender to take a look at the numbers. So uh, these numbers are not actually there. Uh, 10752 is an actual cost. There's a person that takes care of all the, uh, all the units and building. Uh, so the owner can be absent from there. Any small repairs that need to be done, the person takes care of it. It costs him $10,752. We got $1,000 for GNA marketing, spending another $525 a year. Uh, we have repair and maintenance, $10,500. Uh, contract services, this is basically your uh, rental for your washer and dryer. The washer and dryer are generating $4,788 at a cost of $1,944. So it's a good investment at this property. Utilities are $27,825. Property taxes are $31,619 and the insurance is $4,725. Current, current average rent for the six bachelors is $932. Uh, the market right now is $1,225. Uh, one bedrooms, one to 1225 and the market right now is 1475 and the two bedrooms are at 1212 and the market is at 1950. Now you might be saying, hey, how come the one bedrooms are higher than the two bedrooms? Well, part of the reason is because you have some tenants that have been there uh, for a while versus there have been recent turnovers in the one bedrooms. So your average for the one bedrooms is much higher. So overall, cap rate going in is at 4.13%. If this was property was at a 10-year market, uh, these are all 10-year numbers, the cap rate works out to about 7.07%. Cash on cash return for year one is at a 1%. At by year 10, you're looking at that number growing to 7.57. And the ROI growing from 2.75 in year one to 10.32% in year 10. Uh, some additional costs, land transfer tax, lawyer fees and building inspections, and an environmental if required by your lender. Total cash requirement for this purchase is going to be around 2.261. Understand that that's a high number. Your lender might actually request a lot lower down payment. Uh, we like to have uh, the numbers uh, with, 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 with enough of a buffer in there so you know uh, you're gonna actually make money on this one. Uh, the overall numbers when we ran it, uh, at a 10 year hold, it's about an 11% IRR. Again, if you want more information about it, reach out and we can have a conversation. 877-439-2339 or addy at heyaddy.com. Take care and uh, I will chat with you soon. Bye.